Hey, this is Jake from Gearly Reviews, and today we're revisiting Samsung's flagship soundbar, the HWN950. We got to test it out, front and back, for over two months of intensive use. In this video, we'll shortly share our honest opinion on Samsung's leading soundbar. Let's start with the specs. The N950 is one of the most featured packed soundbars we came across. Dolby Atmos support, DTSX support, SmartThings app control, Alexa support, rear upfiring speakers, 4K HDMI pass-through, music streaming, and so much more. This list is getting pretty long, so you can just hop to our link below to get the complete features list, pricing, and additional info. But the thing that I liked most about the soundbar was the listening experience. The bar just fills the room with its 17 speakers, 6 drivers and 3 tweeters along the front, a side firing speaker at each end, and 2 up firing speakers. There's currently no other sound bar out there that competes with the N950 when it comes to Dolby Atmos experience and room filling sound. We compared the audio to the older Samsung HWK950 model and found the surround audio and the bass to be almost identical between the models. Where we saw significant improvement is with the sound produced from the main unit, especially with vocals. The addition of the Harman Kardon sound that Samsung's offering proved to be a step in the right direction for Samsung's high-end audio aspirations, and with the spacious and enhanced vocals and music, the difference here is quite clear. When we played certain Atmos movies, we could feel how the rear speakers, with their upfiring drivers, shoot sounds from the ceilings toward us, while the units on the bar itself managed very well to reflect sounds toward the walls and back to us, a truly immersive experience. It's not all positives though, as certain dialogues came out a bit muffled at times for some reason. Our guess it's due to encoding issues, but it's hard to tell. We stand by our previous verdict that the N950, while not perfect, currently stands out as one of the best propositions out there for object-based audio from any soundbar. In terms of build quality and design, the bar really should be intended for large rooms to utilize its full sound potential. It's also fairly large, so keep in mind that you need to pair with at least a 55-inch screen TV. The build quality is above average, with metal grills at the top, front, and sides, along with a brushed metal finish to the edges and rear, which we're not complaining about. The bar has three HDMI ports. One of them is an output with ARC to deliver audio from the TV set. The other two ports can be used for connecting Blu-ray players, TV boxes, and other types of media devices. So what didn't we like? Well, the lack of EARC, which stands for Enhanced Audio Return Channel, damages the bar's future proofing for us since it lacks support for advanced audio formats that require larger bandwidth and speed. Setup and installation of the soundbar and bass unit did not go too smoothly, but reasonably fine. Another issue is the price tag. Look. When we take a step back and determine the value, quality, and audio features the soundbar, or should we say sound system, produces, it's a definite worthwhile purchase, especially considering all the elements we get, all combined into one complete package. Coming at just under 1500 bucks, there are definitely some cheaper alternatives out there, but nothing that can deliver that comprehensive Dolby Atmos or DTSX experience. So should we skip the HWN 950? If you have a smaller room or smaller screen, look somewhere else. If you don't have the budget, you should probably look somewhere else. If you're not necessarily looking for a complete surrounding Dolby Atmos experience, you definitely have good options. However, if you decided that a soundbar system is the way to go, and you're all in on sound quality and Atmos surround sound, look no further than the Samsung N950. We certainly enjoyed it very much. Before we wrap up this review, you can find out much more about all our products we mentioned here, including specs, features, and pricing. Just hop on to the description of this video below. We have many more comprehensive tech reviews and recommendations on our channel, and many more coming up soon. So feel free to join our family and subscribe to our channel below to get notified about future videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time.